Hey everyone, welcome to our new coach get started right call. We're super excited to have you guys on the team. Um, and tonight we're just going to cut to the chase and um, go through the basics so you guys can get off and running and building a truly amazing business. Um, so Carrie and I are going to go over some of the, the main stuff that we should be focusing on. Um, first of all, I want to start with, um, you know, when you signed up, your sponsor uh, should have gotten you started with a new coach checklist. Uh, the new coach checklist can be found in our cover photo of the big fit and fierce team. Um, actually, there's a lot of great information in that cover photo. Uh, so if you get a chance, go ahead and check that out. Um, maybe bookmark a couple of those links in there. Um, so make sure you have started with the new coach checklist. It has all the um, you know basic startup things like how to set up your websites on Team Beachbody, um, you know how to access your online office, how to check out where your coach ID is, that kind of stuff. Um, so we're not going to go over that tonight because it's in the new coach checklist. So make sure you check that out. And we are going to dive right into um, social media. If you haven't already, I always recommend to um, create your Facebook like page. Uh, a Facebook like page is a little different from a personal page. You have advertising capability over on a like page, uh, which means you will be able to expand your reach into your what we call a cold market. And, uh, you know, you'll be able to boost posts, run ads, and meet a whole bunch of people that, you know, aren't on your immediate friends list or at arm's reach. Uh, what I am telling people now is I think it's still important to run your personal page. Um, so maybe, you know, start to network and invite people um, via your personal page while you're building your like page and invite those people to your like page so you can start to get some interaction on it. Um, let's see. Things that you want to post on social media or on your like page is um, obviously, you know, have some, have some common ground of health and fitness. Uh, of course, we want to lead by example and be an inspiration to people uh, and a motivation, big motivation figure. Uh, but what's really, really, really important in this business is to be relatable. It's okay to be vulnerable. Uh, you can post things about your everyday mom life. You can post things about any hobbies you have. Basically, whatever you were doing on your personal page before Beachbody, post it on your like page and just post more of it. Um, you can share from your like page to your personal page. You could create a, one post on your personal page and maybe two on your like page and share one from your like page to your personal page. Just kind of keep it circulating in the beginning um, because everyone on your personal page, you want to get over to your like page so you can start to grow your network. Um, and I mean, I think it's good to have a like page also so you have something separate for your business and people will start to understand that from your personal page when they go over to your like page. Um, don't be a Beachbody billboard. We preach this a lot and we take a lot of pride in this, uh, especially on our team because we don't want to be salespeople. Um, that's not what this is about. Yes, we're in sales. Yes, we sell products, but it's way more than the product here at Beachbody um, or on our team at least. We are focused on building relationships. We are focused on being relatable. When you're posting pictures of you know the 21 Day Fix and Shakeology and there, your face is nowhere to be seen, it's not relatable. It's automatically flagged as salesy. And actually, Facebook's kind of picking up on these things, too. And the more salesy things you post, the less Facebook is going to show it. So steer clear of, you know, price tags and, um, oh, I don't know, anything that looks salesy. Um, you want to post things that add value to people. You want to post things that get them interacting with your posts. 
likes, comments, shares, huge, huge, huge way to uh, expand your network organically. And that's what you want to aim for. You know, ask questions, uh, post things that, again, people relate to and you know it's going to start a conversation because all these conversation starters are great ways to network and really dive in there and get to know these people that are interacting with your posts. Um, and more, most importantly, just be you. Uh, don't try to be someone you're not. When I started coaching, I, I thought that like my target market was going to be like fitness superstars. <laughs> like that, those were the people I wanted on my team. I was going to just try to be this like fitness person. Um, and it kind of worked out here and there, you know, I'd post like workout, 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 nutrition, nutrition, nutrition. And then every now and then I throw in a picture of my kids and like everything would go like skyrocket. Like everyone was interacting with that post and I was like, Oh, that's weird. And then I'd go back to my fitness post and then I didn't realize that wasn't, that wasn't who I was. Yes. I love fitness. You know, I'm an advocate for the products. Um, but when I became pregnant with my third, uh, I started to realize, you know, the moms and the postpartum people and, um, people thinking about getting pregnant. That was, that was where my niche was. Um, so I kind of ran with that and I've been posting about dirty diapers ever since. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I think you guys kind of get the gist. I'm going to stop right there and take a maybe some questions. Um, we'll do questions by section this time, maybe try something different. Um, and if, if this is the first time on a webinar, we do have a chat button down there at the bottom, or if you have a question, you can just hit unmute, which is at the bottom left. Um, any questions about social media, what you should be posting, you wanna stay very, very consistent with this, two to three times a day, morning, noon, night, are really high traffic times. Um, don't overthink this. Don't spend all day trying to compose a post. Um, it should be, you know, everyday life stuff just to be relevant in people's lives, just to get the interaction circulating. Cool. No questions. That's awesome. Um, okay. So you're posting on social media how do we get these people in our challenge groups? How do we talk to new people, um, invite people to join our team, that kind of stuff. And this is what we call inviting. And it's our very first vital behavior um, because you're going to be doing this a lot. And we're just going to tell you up front, the only way to run this business is to talk to a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people. And I know it sounds scary, but um, you're actually going to really enjoy it over time because you're going to meet a lot of great people and you're going to change a lot of lives and it's going to be a really good feeling. And some of them will even become your best friends. Um, anyway, so we call this inviting um, people that are liking your page, commenting on your page, um, people that maybe you're friends with your family, anyone you can think of. We tell our new coaches, start your list. Um, there's something called a, a memory jogger, right? Um, that helps you start a list of people that you know would make a fantastic coach, people that you know could use some help in their health and fitness, um, people that you don't know that are, you're meeting on your like page. Um, just start making lists of all these people and don't be afraid to shoot them a message. If it's somebody from your like page, you could shoot them a message and say something as simple as, Hey, thank you for liking my page. We must share an interest in health and fitness. Do you mind if I ask you if you're working on any goals right now? Super easy question. They obviously liked your page because they saw something over there they liked, whether it's, um, you know, you completed your workout today or a recipe you posted. It's, it's something to start the conversation with, right? Um, so from there, um, you know, you're just going to be building the relationship, talking to them, um, get to the point where 
you ask them about their health and fitness goals and, um, you know, really dig into that with them. Um, or do we have questions? No. Oh, Carrie's got it. Um, really dig into that with them. And um, it, eventually, along the line of these conversations with people, you're going to have to put out the invite to a challenge group or to the opportunity. Um, and it's just a simple question. Don't be afraid of it. Hey, so-and-so, it's been really great to talk to you. I've really enjoyed learning about your goals. Um, I wanted to ask you, I'm, I'm putting together a group with a couple of other coaches on my team, or maybe you're running your own group. Uh, I'm looking for a couple of people that are interested in whatever it is, um, you know, losing weight, just being healthy all around, uh, that, you know, want, that are aiming to do that this month. Um, does this sound like something you'd be interested in? You know, you could tell them about the group. Um, we have a lot of fun in there. It's mainly just for accountability and support because that's a huge piece to the get fit puzzle. Right. Um, so I don't know. Do you want to add anything to that? Like putting out the invite? It's just a simple question. It really, really is. It's something you just can't overthink. I think a lot of coaches do. Um, yeah, I think that's what kind of stops people and paralyzes them at the beginning of how do I invite people? We say this is a vital behavior. How do I actually invite these people to it? Um, an example is, you know, if you have a transformation that started or if you're starting your journey right now, great. You just put it out there and anybody that likes or comments, you just shoot them a private message. Hey, thanks for giving me some support. It's kind of hard to share these things on social media with the norms being, hey, I'm going out for beers and a burger with my girlfriend, you know, is more acceptable than I'm trying to work on myself to be better. So, I mean, just a simple, hey, thanks for your support. That meant a lot. How have you been? Done. Like, not, hey, I'm a beach body coach now. I would love to help you on your health and fitness journey. The 21 day fix is on sale right now. It's a container system with fitness program. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> that's what we call, you know, like brain throwing up, mm -hmm. you know, like it's not something you want to do. It doesn't feel natural. It feels icky because it kind of is. Um, another thing that we don't do when we're inviting is just putting people in a group. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't just put people into a group. Don't do that. <laughs> Everybody heard that, right? <laughs> That's just, um, as you'll see longer, um, people are going to recognize you as being someone that adds value to social media and you're going to get started adding to these groups that, you know, that you might not be interested in. So as beach body coaches, we're always looking to add value to the person and if, see if it's a good fit for them. So we're not just going to add someone to a group assuming that it is, even though we know it's kind of good for everybody. <laughs> right. Definitely. And um, something I, I want to mention too, um, let's say, you know, uh, we teach, well, we recommend that you add three to five new friends every day. doesn't matter where they're from. Maybe it's a group. Maybe it's your um recommended friends list on Facebook, maybe it's people from your like page. And, you know, when you're reaching out to those people, it's okay to ask for referrals or it's okay to ask for referrals from anyone. It, it could be your friends or, fam or family. Um, you know, if you're not really grasping um, how to invite and starting conversations, it's a referral is always a really good approach to, you know, start a conversation with someone build the relationship. And then when the conversation feels like it's ending, you can just say um, something along the lines of, you know, it's been great to talk to you. Uh, I was just wondering before I log off, I'm starting this challenge group. It's X, Y, and Z. Would you happen to know anybody that would be interested in doing some, something like that this month? Um, Cause you know, they start to think of people that do need help and sometimes it's them uh, and they'll say, Hey, yeah, uh, me. Yeah. Sign me up. So, um, the referral approach is a great idea. Um, inviting to join your team, recruiting coaches. Uh, I was talking to a group today about this 
sometimes it's okay to just tell them, you know, their, their qualities that you've recognized in them and why you think they would be such a good fit for our team. Um, I did that a lot and I still do like, Hey, you know what you're, especially in your challenge groups, you're going to find your customers are going to make great coaches because they're becoming advocates of the product. Um, they are probably posting on their social media because they're excited about the results they're seeing or feeling. Um, it's okay to tell them, Hey, you know what? I think you would make a fantastic coach. Have you ever considered it? You know, you're being such an inspiration in the group. You're being so supportive to the other people. Um, you know, it's, it's okay to just ask. So always keep that in mind. Just ask. Um, okay, we have some questions. Can you see me? I'm breastfeeding. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> that was a private message, Megan, I think. <laughs> Oopsie. That's okay. Um, we're all, oh, no, wait. We have one man. Oh, sorry. I thought we were all women. Um, <laughs> and Javier's back. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Javier. <laughs> Um, it's funny um, cause I've totally done the same thing on a call too. So yeah, no one can tell. Yeah, um, <laughs> would you invite people that are already doing beach body programs to join your challenge group, even if you're not the coach now that comes in the lines of having integrity and, um, but it also is always client choice. So there's, you know, a balance here. Um, is your sister already working with another coach? Of course, invite her to your challenge group, you know, but if this is like an acquaintance that's working with another coach, you can dive into how the relationship is and see how everything is going. But more than not, we say, you know, your coach should have a challenge group like this or um, something along those lines. And if they don't, then of course, you yeah. know, it's, it's bigger than us. It's bigger than a product. We want them to reach their goals. So having the support of a coach is definitely the, the best way for somebody to reach their goals. Yeah. But also run your business with integrity. Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's next on this list? Where's my list? Um, do you make it a requirement that people have to purchase a challenge pack or Shakeology to participate in your challenge groups? That's a great question, Colleen. Um, there are all different types of challenge groups and you're able to set them up with any requirements that you want. You are an independent contractor of Beachbody, you're your own business owner, so you can set them up however you want. Um, a lot of coaches offer a free challenge groups such as like a five day clean eating or um, a squat challenge group or you'll see all different types of things like a um, crock pot recipe challenge group, <laughs> but it's not really a challenge group, right? It's just a support group or a share group. Um, and those don't require obviously Shakeology or challenge packs. What it does is just increases your reach and your chance to make new friends. So in that kind of setting, that's what you're doing and thinking of that almost as a feeder program to them or to, or I shouldn't even say feeder program. I should say an opportunity for you to get to know them better, to find out what needs they have and how we have products or things that can fill them, whether it's nutrition, fitness, community, um, support, motivation, accountability, financial, um, all those kinds of things. Yeah. Um, so that's our next topic is challenge groups there. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, so this also should not be overthought <laughs> overthunk. Is that a word? Thunk? No, I don't think that's a word. Um, you can run a challenge group however you want to. I, I choose to run 30 day challenge groups, um, every month I do. And it's a fitness challenge and I, um, I only put my challenge pack customers in it and my new coaches who signed up, they run a challenge group with me so they can kind of get their feet wet and learn, learn the ropes or whatever. Um, they can add their customers to it. Um, it's up to them. I tell them it's up to them whether or not they want to add their, uh, you know, customers that didn't purchase a challenge pack or if they just want to keep it open to challenge pack customers, it's totally up to them. Um, I feel that the people that have taken the extra step to invest in their health and their fitness get that little perk 
the challenge group, the 30 day challenge group. Um, I tell my customers that um, don't do a challenge pack that they're more than welcome to be a part of our fit fierce committed group, which is like a ongoing challenge group. Um, it doesn't really have any structure to it, but there are people in there posting all the time. Um, so it's however you want to do it. I would suggest since we all kind of do it differently and there are so many different challenge groups, get with your upline and ask them, you know, the, what challenge groups are going on. There is a calendar posted. It's pinned, pinned to the top and fit and fierce um, with a couple of different groups that Carrie and I run. Um, so just, I think that's pretty much, um, I don't want to confuse anybody because we all do, we all run them different. Right. And, and don't, don't be nervous about running yours. If you're ready and you're like, Hey, I want to run a challenge group with my closest friends and family, go ahead and dive right in. But if you're feeling any type of nervous or anxious, ask your sponsor to help you and jump right into their challenge group and invite to that challenge group till you get your feet wet and feel confident. Um, there's no really wrong way. And that's, I think that one of the overwhelming pe parts to explain this to a person that's starting out is, Hey, you, there's no wrong way to do this. And you might find better ways to do things, but nothing is really viewed as failing because you're going to constantly be learning and seeing how you can change things up. And the same goes for hosting your challenge groups. You know, you're going to find things that are great and find things like, Hey, maybe I won't use that again. Sure. <laughs> kind of stuff, so. Okay. Um, so along those lines, um, when you have a customer that needs to order something, <laughs> uh, remember this website, it's coachmobile.teambeachbody.com. And that's the easiest way to send an order to anybody. It's also the easiest way to sign up a coach. <laughs> and Megan, you know what I still do to this day instead of memorizing that? I just Google coach mobile app. Oh, you're kidding me. Beachbody mobile app. <laughs> Harry, Harry, make this note. Coach mobile. <laughs> I'm going to do, do a real sticky note. <laughs> yeah, for real. Do it. Stick it on your computer. I, Google is your best friend as a coach. I just want to put that out there. Yeah. I, I, I Google that all the time. Beachbody coach mobile app. <laughs> oh, well. Um, that is true. Like every answer you have or every question you have, you can Google it and it pulls up our FAQ, which we it's, we have a very extensive FAQ section um, in the online office. Um, if you never, if you can't get a question answered, but anyway, um, so yeah, the coach mobile, all you need is your customer, your coach's email address and their first and last name. And obviously if they're signing up with a challenge pack, know what fitness program they want and what Shakeology flavor you can enroll coaches without a challenge pack. You can send people just products through the coach mobile. It's the easiest way. Um, you can send people through your website to teambeachbody.com slash your username, but then they got to fish through the shop and it's a, a fiasco. So, um, coach, coach mobile .com. Uh, okay. Let's talk about success club. So we are, um, let me make sure I pull up my notes so I don't skip anything on this. Da, da, da. Success club. Your first goal as a new coach should be to hit success club five and success club is basically a rewards program put on by team beach body. Um, unlike other net network marketing companies that penalize you for not reaching a certain quota for the month or whatever. Um, we don't do that here, but you are rewarded when you help at least three people every month with challenge packs or um, Shakeology on Home Direct, and they put points to that. So you get two points for every challenge pack and one point for every Shakeology on Home Direct. Oh, and you get one point for um, a performance line bundle now, but not the boost, right? Do you get a point for boost? No? Um, just, uh, 90, what is it? 90 PV. On, 90 PV on home direct. Yeah. So the so boost. Yeah. 
right? Yeah. Yeah. The, the partnered ones. Yeah, the bundled booths. Okay. Yeah. So, Sorry. Yeah. Anyway, so you want to try to get to five every month. And the reason why you want to get to five is one, you hit success club, you get rewarded. They reward you every month. Two, it's a direct reflection of how your business is growing. Um, if you're hitting success club, you're earning commission, you're earning residual income from the home direct orders coming in. You've gotten your Shakeology paid for. Um, you're recruiting coaches. You're putting customers in your challenge groups. You're helping a lot of people, okay? So it's a good way to set a goal and measure that um, every single month. Um, and I had a third point, but I forgot. <laughs> third point, third point. I'll come back to it. Um, so hit success club. It's, I still, to this day, it's a non-negotiable for me every single month. It's the first thing I focus on, on the first of every month. Carrie does too. <laughs> 43 months. Woo. <laughs> um, Oh, if you hit Success Club as a new coach your first three months in a row, you get a, a free ticket to our Team Beachbody Summit, um, which is our big annual event that takes place every year in Nashville, and it's so fun, and we'll all be there. We're going to throw a big team party, and um, you get to work out with all the celebrity trainers and learn a whole lot from um, – you know, personal development speakers and uh, top coaches and everyone from corporate. And it's, it's a great event. You want to go. Um, so hit success club. Um, oh, and you can earn a free vacation too. That's pretty big deal. Um, success club PV. Do you want to explain PV? Personal volume? Yeah, because okay. my head explodes when I get okay. the numbers. So, um, are you talking about getting leads because of Success Club? No, how about um, like staying active? You need. Okay. All right, absolutely. So, um, this was all gibberish when I started coaching. Like, I didn't get all the beach body jargon. I was like, PV, what? ATV, what? Left leg, right leg, strong leg, weak leg, team leg, what? <laughs> so all of it was like too much. So just make it really simple. In order to be an active coach, you need 50 points of personal volume. That's what PV stands for, personal volume. And your own personal volume is all the volume that you bring in. It includes your clients. So your own personal volume includes your clients. Um, so if somebody orders a three day refresh with packets from you, 52 points, you're active. But what we suggest is most coaches just have their Shakeology on home direct every month. It's kind of like one of those things, set it and forget it. Um, 90 PV every month on home direct, you're active every single month without even thinking about it. Um, and I mean, it's such an amazing product that obviously as a coach, you're going to be able to, you're going to want to have that on home direct, not only like energy. I mean, I don't have to convince you guys, you guys know. Um, but just so you know, it's just 50 points to be active. Um, and Shakeology on home direct is the easiest way for you to do that. Wow. That was really easy for you. Is that what you meant? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. It took me like 20 minutes to explain PV. Um, yeah. Yeah. So like, it's just so just keep it really simple. Your personal stuff, whatever you order or sell is your personal volume. So, yeah. Um, before we get to Emerald, which is the second goal you should aim for as a new coach, does anybody have any questions so far about PV success club challenge groups or the coach mobile? We are making really good time. <laughs> um, I'll pause for a second because you difference between inactive and active. Okay. Okay. So an active coach means that you have 50 personal volume points or more. Your personal volume points come from your sales or your purchases. Um, 
And let's see, I was going to say something about that. Your sales or your purchases. Yeah. So you're an active coach. If you're on Shakeology, you're always active. You don't ever have to worry about it. Even if you have a customer return and it sends you into negative, if you're on Shakeology Home Direct, you can call up Coach Relations and say, hey, I'm on Home Direct. And they'll be like, oh, we need to make you active. <laughs> so <laughs> seriously, they do that. But not, if you're not on Shakeology Home Direct or anything 90 PV of Home Direct, um, they won't do that for you. But we can talk about that later. So an active coach is actively working their business. They're buying product. They're um, making sales. They're being a product of the product. Um, that is an active coach. An inactive coach is somebody um, – who is usually a discount coach is what we call them. They come in, maybe they're signed up for the discount. Um, so they're on Shakeology like for a couple months and then they cancel it and then they go inactive. They don't get penalized. They just kind of sit there. Um, because even with our $15 a month business fee, you still save because um, we get 25% off of everything. So a lot of people just sign up for the discount. Um, so that's the difference between inactive and active. Now, where it becomes important is when you are advancing in rank in Beachbody because inactive coaches will not count towards your rank. In fact, you can get demoted <laughs> from, um, let's say you're Emerald and you signed up to personally sponsored coaches. They have to be active in order for you to maintain Emerald which is a big deal because when you're Emerald, you basically what we call activate your business center and you get a whole new earning potential, which is huge. It's called the team cycle bonus. And it's in a nutshell, it's earning off of the productivity of your team, everyone being placed below you, whether you sponsor them or not. So that could be a lot of people and it's going to grow over time. So you want to make sure you are, you know, advancing in rank and you're, you're, you're bringing in active coaches. Um, so let's rewind and talk about Emerald. Yay. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Carrie wore the Emerald headband cause she is going to talk to us about Emerald. <laughs> this by coincidence. I love when the stars align like that. Just kidding. Um, so Emerald coaches are coaches like Megan said that have two coaches underneath them. They've personally sponsored two coaches. One is on their left and one is on their right. Boom, you're an Emerald coach. Those two coaches need to stay active, meaning they need to have 50 points coming in every six weeks, five yeah. weeks, six weeks, six weeks. Um, because your volume, as you get more comfortable with your online office, you're going to be able to see your volume and the volume of your coaches and they track across this little screen for you for five weeks and then the volume falls off. So like after that six week, that's when the home direct hopefully comes back in. I digress. So Emeralds are coaches um, that have a, sponsored two coaches, one on their left, one on their right. And the reason why Megan said they, that it's a great opportunity or that you really, you know, it's an important milestone to hit in your business, especially if you want to grow a business is because there's this wonderful thing that happens when you activate your business center, the company compensates you for creating more business instead of just yourself working your business. Now three people are helping build your business. And that's what I kind of think of it as, you know, you're having these people that are now um, business partners, if you will, working with you to grow this business. And the company compensates you as you start to bring in volume within your team. Um, and the cycle bonus, to keep it simple, is just on a one to two ratio. So if you have 100 points on another one side and 200 on the other, you're going to cycle. That's what the ratio boils down to, 100 points and 200 points. So any multiples of those and you're going to cycle more and more. So if you had 200 and 400, you're going to cycle twice. 
just think of doubling. Um, the, the numbers are really easy to think of once you start to get comfortable with that cycle bonus. If one side has doubled the other, then you're in really good shape and you're gonna make some money. So as an Emerald coach, the company compensates you for every time you have 100 points on one side and 200 on the other that you can subtract from those legs, they're gonna give you $14. And it might not sound like a lot at the beginning, but I was super excited when that first $14 rolled in because it meant like my, I was helping my team build a business too. And then, so that's gonna happen over and over again. As you go on up in rate, they compensate you more. A Ruby coach is compensated at $16 a cycle. Um, that same ratio, 100 to 200, and a diamond is compensated, diamond and above is compensated at $18 a cycle. So if you're gonna be a business builder, you want to make um, a goal right now to get to diamond um, so you can maximize the compensation plan, if you will. You want to cycle at the most that you can, and that's at diamond. So getting to diamond is really important. Um, and it's going to take people different amounts of time to get there. Don't get discouraged. Um, but obviously the first immediate goal is to find, you know, two people that you really care about. Um, and ask them to join you on this journey um, because giving them or having them sign up, you're giving them an incredible opportunity to be the top of your organization. And um, I know at the beginning it might not seem like a big deal, but if you walk away with anything, make sure that you walk away knowing that the coaches that you are inviting this to, you're giving them an opportunity. You know, um, this is something you're blessing them with, if you will, uh, because being at the top of a, a foundation or a business can be really life changing for these people. Um, my husband is the top of one of my legs and a good friend is the top of my other. And they're doing incredibly well in their business centers because of the business that is built around them. Um, so being mindful of that uh, as you start to build your business is huge. For sure. Um, a spouse is definitely something to think about to sign up first. Like Carrie said, um, just looking at the big picture, you know, if you're invested in this and you're going to grow this business, uh, you need somebody you love at the top of your organization. Um, I did not do that. Um, and I could kick myself for not doing that. <laughs> But um, so just take it from someone who has Carrie and someone who has not. <laughs> um, so I got lucky on that one, Megan. I got lucky. Yeah, I know. I was like, we we weren't um, we weren't really guided when we started coaching on how to best build and how to build a solid foundation and how to max the comp plan and how to build smart. Um, we are failing forward and we learn from our mistakes. So now that we can help you all start faster and better um, and we understand all this now, you know, three plus years in it's, we want to make this as easy as possible. And what we're sharing with you is really, I mean, it's from our heart and we want the best for you. So it's really like if you have a spouse and you're able to sit down and have that conversation, you know, it's really worth giving it a go so that in the long run, later down the line, you know, it's not something you look back and say, oh, what if, you know, you just have to sign one or two rock stars for your life to be completely changed. I mean, this isn't like you need to sign a hundred coaches in a month kind of stuff. Um, it just takes one low nut to really take off and to have a spouse above that can be uh, life changing for your family. Yeah, that's two and that's two incomes. Every oh, right. Yeah. Other, I didn't know this, that other, um, you know, marketing companies don't allow that, you, you know, you're allowed to have yeah, you household have incomes, which is huge. Yep. <laughs> um, and going back to that cycle bonus, like Carrie said, that first $14, it doesn't seem like a lot. But as time goes on and you're building a team and your team is building a team and everything just starts multiplying, you know, that, that one cycle where you get $14 turns into cycling 10 times one week. We get paid every week. And then, you know, months later, it'll cycle 50 times. 
um, you know, you just have to stay consistent with building your team. We really want to stress that. Um, so the best goals to set for yourself as a new coach is one hit success club and two, try to rec recruit, invite two to three people to your team every month. Mm -hmm. Help three people with challenge packs or Shakeology invite coaches to your team every month, two to three. That's, mm -hmm. that's it. I mean, I mean, <laughs> and when she says that, it, that is it. Like that is set for life it. I remember sitting here on calls similar to this when I first started or listening to YouTube videos and I'm hearing these coaches say the exact same things that we're saying right now. You know, if you make it a non-negotiable to hit success club, that's helping three people a month three people a month there is you can meet three people every month and help them every month there are that many people to help um like i'm you know beach body doesn't you know guarantee any level of success but if you do that and you're adding you know coaches consistently to your network you're gonna make six figures and I might be the first person to say that to you, but I really want you to believe that. That's crazy, right? And I remember thinking, and I was listening to a Scotty Hobbs video when I first started a YouTube one, and I was like, you know, if it takes me 10 years to get where he is right now, it'll be worth it. And it took two, <laughs> it took two years. It's crazy, like crazy. Like but I remember having that like internal conversation, like, if it takes me 10 years to make six figures, you know, I won't have to ever go back to teaching. I loved teaching, but I wouldn't have to leave my girls and make decisions like that. You know, um, it's just mind blowing that it, it, it really is that simple. Invite to the coaching opportunity, you know, two people, two coaches a month will do it and consistently hitting success club you know all the training in the world it's just going to end up being from your heart sharing what you know work sharing other people's stories on our team um being a storyteller obviously true stories or whatnot but it it doesn't it's not hard it's right. not hard. don't overthink this mm -hmm. seriously like just set those small goals it's all about the goal setting mm -hmm. and the consistency um, and not giving up because mm -hmm. yeah. some months are going to get hard, <laughs> but just don't, don't give up. Okay. Any questions? <laughs> I know. Got a little <laughs> fired up there. <laughs> no questions? All right. We must've done pretty dang good. Um, and of course we'll post the recording to this either tonight or tomorrow, probably tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and I guess if nobody has any questions, we, we can go, but wait, I have to ask, wait, does she get off? Okay. It, Char, is it Charlie or Charlie? I have to ask. You've been one of my coaches for months now and I'm like, gosh, I still don't know how to pronounce her name. So you have to unmute yourself. No, she's laughing. <laughs> she's like, like no. <laughs> she's like, I'm going to make you say it wrong forever. Man. Like, oh, no, my phone's <laughs> muted. I can't hear you. What is it? Oh, wait. It's Charlie. It's Charlie? Charlie? Charlie. <laughs> because I can't hear her. Can you hear her? No, her phone. I think her phone is still muted.